We're back in Oklahoma now. Travis is leading me somewhere. I'm not sure where. I'm wondering if it's to a bee yard or to that big old giant windmill over there. close to one of those ginormous windmills. I see them tra transporting parts to them. They come up and down I-10 from Florida, I believe. So I see the, the blades and the motors coming on trucks across Interstate 10, but I've never been close to the bottom of one that's been erected and is in operation. As usual, the video does not do it justice. This thing is absolutely massive. <laughs> yeah. I like the stud caps they've got on it. Dry rod it. Listen to the sound. <laughs> I was waiting for you to slap it. Wait, there's more. I don't know what this is. Blooming Travis just slowed down and pointed it out. Looks like some kind of little cherry. What is up, Rooster Nation? Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster Channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. <laughs> Thanks for dropping in with us and this will be the last of our travel vlogging for a while and we'll be back on to cutouts and such in the next video. Um, this was a old um, oil well site What was that uh, flowering plant you were pointing out a minute ago? Uh, it is a wild plum. It's beautiful out here. Looks like I got one of your boxes somehow. It has one of those upper entrances. <laughs> <laughs> well, these bees ought to be doing real well then. <laughs> yep, just got a chip out of it. This was a weaker hive that I didn't send to California. Yeah. catch box for whatever might have been airborne whenever we loaded. Yeah. This is another one that didn't make the cut. Um, this one was actually pretty strong before the ice, mm -hmm. um, but I haven't checked it since the uh, ice storm. This is how much they've uh, drawn this out in one week. Well, my beekeeping visit's over. I'm headed home now. Uh, 10 miles out and I'm nodding. So I had to get out and walk around and found the rock shop. The rock shop. I used to collect rocks when I was a kid. So I do find them somewhat interesting. 
piece of a geode. It looks like some kind of fossilized something. I don't know what that is. These are pretty cool. Some homemade concrete sculpture. <laughs> that I think I like. I'm out here negotiating. What'd you take for that one? 35. 35. Got a lot of quartz in it. Where'd got it? horns blend in it. Where'd it come from? That's out of the, up Lake Emma. Lake Emma. Right up above Silverton, Colorado. That's where that's from. This whole pallet, that's where it's from. It's up Lake Emma. And a lot of petrified wood in there. That's good sugar wood. Sugar wood? Is it, uh, what kind of tree is it? Or is it just called sugar wood because it's got a sparkle it's in it? It's called sugar wood. It's some kind of a, a pine or uh, up in New Mexico and Colorado there, pretty much. Do me, do me these two for 35. Okay, got a deal. All right, All right sir. <laughs> Good deal. I'll take y'all inside real quick. It's not just an outside operation. Inside is where all the nice stuff is, all the jewelry and some real pretty, real tiny stuff too. But check this out. That's where they got them all separated out into little specialty stuff. Calcite. I don't even know what most of this is. Obsidian. Heard of it. I don't know if I've ever seen it. So this was stop number one. Next stop, probably a truck stop. Get a nap. This is your crystal room. Oh, wow, I didn't see this. You got all this polished stuff over here. Yeah. Nice. Now, how do you, if you found a geode roaming in the wild, how would you catch it and split it? Do they all look, I mean, when you pick one up off the ground, do you know it's a geode or do you got to split it? We pretty much can tell the geodes. Okay. Huh. In geodes up there, these are out of Missouri. Yes, it don't even, if you look at it on the back, it don't even look like a real rock. It looks like. No, it don't. Looks like uh, something somebody melted and left in the yard. What is all this in the jars up here? That's glass. Okay. A lot of sea glass that we pick up off the beaches. Huh. Comanche, Oklahoma, if you're ever passing through, stop, stop in the rock shop and check them out. Southwest room. This is the southwest room on the northeast corner of the building. <laughs> yeah. Is that right? Most of this stuff come out of the four corners. What's the four corners? New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, and Utah. Yeah, she'll show you that. That's her. <laughs> These right here, we haven't gone through all of them, but almost all of those are fluorescent. It's just due to their metal. We've got a book for it too. I haven't read it completely. All this pile here? Uh-huh. Yeah. You, you gotta put a light on them? No, I'm gonna put put a light on these in here and show you. So I'll show you to begin with, kind of what they look like. Let's look like just a regular rock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, you can do both. Some of them you can kind of tell what that they're going to fluoresce. Yeah. And some of them you actually have to come in here and just check them out to see if they are. <laughs> I've got one over here that... Because some of them are seashells, some of them are fluorite, some of them are mm. crystals, and they all glue differently. We've got a lot of red, green, purple, not many yellow. Well, I have to say, I've never seen anything like it before. <laughs> this one here looks like one of those 80 splash rocks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shine this, this one on the right hand side again. This one here? Yeah, that looks like uh, uh, an orca. Oh, uh huh. Oh, red, red here. Some of them are so red they look like lava. Yeah. And that one's got a purple ring through. Right. This one here is coral. It glows in the front, but not so much on the back side of it. This one here is a geode. There's even some petrified woods that glow. See, there's not many yellows. And it glows almost like a sulfur color. This looks like the fake colors they use in haunted houses. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. I think this that one here is seashell. Yeah. Uh-huh. Pretty good. Yes. You see the crystals? I don't think this is crystals, but I know that this one here is crystals. I can remember that one in the light. Really can find colors on these green ones. What are those? I don't remember what that is. I'm going to have to look at it in the light again. Uh, interesting. Uh-huh. This one almost looks like a piece of ice. Purple ice. <laughs> yeah, it does. One of my favorites is that one there. That one's selenite. It's Did just you like pet a, that or it broke out like that? Mm, it's just broken out like that. It just looks like a regular rock you wouldn't even notice in the daytime. It's amazing the, the, uh, how bright that is. How bright that's showing red. Yes. Mm. And then you've got the purples. And then that one's got almost every color in it. Well, let's turn, I'm going to turn the white light on and I'm going to show you all that these are not painted rocks, that they're actually, the color, they're, they're showing fluorescent colors like that naturally. You can see that I didn't move the camera, there's no paint on that rock. And that's that room we were just in, just looking like a bunch of rocks. Very cool. Thank yeah. you. Now yeah. you're gonna have me walking around with a black light checking my, <laughs> checking my driveway. Exactly, yeah. Well, it's the same. Have you ever went looking for scorpions in the night? I would if we had scorpions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have scorpions in that's Mississippi. The, that's the same light you would use. So now I'm, now I'm off of uh, bees and onto scorpions and rocks. Well, that was a fun <laughs> stop and right interesting. Hope you liked that little stop off on my ride home. We ain't got no beekeeping to do, so might as well do something. Go buy some rocks. <laughs> That little stop woke me up pretty good, so I should be able to last at least until the first truck stop, which is 56 miles. Ooh. One hour, then I can get a nap or caffeine. Stopped in here to try to get some Chinese food. Walked in the door, the place is empty. And obviously not being used on a regular basis or not, not being cleaned anyway. So I walk around, look around, nobody in there walking in the Continue back. Continue straight. Old man comes out of the kitchen and says, we do carry out only. And I said, okay, where's the menu? So I went and got a menu. And I stood up front for about 10 minutes waiting on him and never came back out. And I went and looked in the kitchen, didn't see him. I was like, what the heck? So went back to the gas station, got a couple of drinks, I'm on the road to the next town with someplace decent to eat. I don't even know what town this is. Somewhere in Texas. A little rest over ended up getting me about five hours. It's 11.20, fixing to pull into Bucky's. Give me a couple of sacks of Jordan almonds and find a place to crash. Well, there's no Bucky's right there. What the heck, that's a sign. Bucky's. And I passed this back over the hill. If you've never seen Bucky's, they're in Texas and I think they got one in Alabama. Massive gas station. Usually over 100 pumps. Somewhere in that neighborhood. These are all gas pumps. They got a diesel dispenser on them, but it's, it's not a truck stop. That's about it for my ride home. It's close to midnight. 
Anything else like your video is gonna be in the dark. Probably not gonna be too terribly interesting. So, hope y'all enjoyed that California trip. And I'm gonna get me a little bit of sleep here before I continue on any further. Thank y'all for watching. And I'll be bringing more videos like this. I hope. Okay, before we go, I'll just show you a little bit of what's in there. All different flavors of just about everything. All different flavors of popcorn, kettle corn, candies. Regular stuff. Regular grocery store stuff. A lot of, a lot of special Bucky stuff. Got to take on some gummy bears. And some Jordans. We'll call that it for the Bucky's tour. Look on the other wall over how big that drink cooler is. That's it. See y'all. I mean, I tell people, just, just look at it. I mean, look at it. Look at that. Just look at it. Look at that.